It is not unusual for people to turn to anxiolytic drugs to relax and sleep. Have you ever used or know anyone who uses tranquilizers or sedatives? Bromazepam, diazepam, alprazolam, and clonazepam are some of the most common anxiolytics found in drugstores. They offer many benefits for people suffering from anxiety, nervousness, stress, insomnia, and even depression. According to the World Health Organization, WHO, 33% of the world population suffers from these issues. Did you know that? Many people may find it normal to take these medications to get some relief and relax, but since we are granola, we prefer natural alternatives that offer the same benefits of these drugs, but without the side effects. Before using these prescribed drugs, it is necessary to know that they present risks and dependence. That means you can't stop the treatment once your disease is cured, but you become dependent on that medication. In many cases, the dependence on these substances can bring other issues to the patient's life. Some of these issues are muscle weakness, drowsiness, and mental confusion, and they may even be the starting point of Alzheimer's and dementia in the future. It is important to be very careful when taking these medicines. So in today's video, you will learn about some natural alternatives that will give you calm and tranquility. Enjoying the video? Then give it a like and share it with your friends to help the channel. A great way of fighting stress and anxiety is to use the soothing properties of medicinal plants and foods, like teas made of valerian, passionflower, chamomile, lemongrass, and centella asiatica. Some of the foods that are as good as antidepressants are those rich in tryptophan, a substance that helps in the production of serotonin, the hormone responsible for the sensation of wellness. These foods are cherries, oats, corn, rice, cheese, nuts, banana, strawberry, sweet potatoes, warm milk, and Brazil nuts. These foods are a great way of complementing the treatment of insomnia and reducing stress. Besides the herbs we mentioned above, there is another less known one, malungu. Have you ever heard about it? Recently on the channel, we posted a video with a recipe for insomnia that uses malungu. According to experts, most cases of insomnia are resulting from anxiety, worries, fears, or insecurity. That puts both body and mind in an alert state that causes a lot of tension. Malungu has calming, analgesic, anti-inflammatory, anti-convulsant, hypotensive, and antipyretic properties. The plant is highly recommended for treating emotional changes and is also used in other situations like anxiety, agitation, panic attacks, epilepsy, migraines, post-traumatic stress disorders, depression, and high blood pressure. Malungu can also be used to alleviate mild to moderate pain and low fever. See how to make Malungu tea to get all of its benefits. The most used part of Malungu is its bark, which can be found as it is or as a powder for teas. The seeds of Malungu must be avoided, as they contain toxic substances that may cause serious harm to the body. Write down the ingredients. 0.14 to 0.21 ounces of Malungu bark. 1 cup boiling water. Add the malungu bark to the water and let it boil for 15 minutes. Then strain, let it cool down a little, and drink it still warm. Drink two to three times a day, but avoid drinking this tea for more than three days in a row. The side effects of malungu are rare, but some studies suggest sedation, drowsiness, and muscular paralysis. Although the teas mentioned are natural ingredients, Pregnant or nursing women and patients with cardiovascular issues must never consume any teas without receiving medical advice first. If you suffer from anxiety, nervousness, stress, insomnia, or depression, try this tea and see the benefits of malungu, herbs, and foods mentioned in this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more recipes and tips, subscribe to the channel.